Subscribe to get carried and click on the bell icon for more updates. So on our channel, we have shown various recipes for biryani. But today, I'm going to show you a recipe of the biryani masala that I use. So for that, I'm going to dry roast certain spices, starting with two tablespoons of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds. Eight bay leaves, fifteen dry red chilies. Now let's roast these spices till they give out their fragrance. These spices have released an amazing aroma. To this, let's add a teaspoon of fennel seeds and roast it for a few seconds more. And now let's remove this inner. Blender. Now let's roast the next batch of spices. We're going to take four star anise, half of a nutmeg, two black cardamoms, two whole mace, fifteen cloves, a teaspoon of black peppercorns. Fifteen green cardamoms and two inches of cinnamon. Now let's roast this. I'm roasting everything on a very low flame. These spices have also released an amazing aroma. Let's shut the flame. Add these spices to the rest of the spices that we have roasted earlier, and let's cool this for a few minutes. The spices have cooled down. Let's grind them to a nice fine powder. Let's remove this fragrant biryani ka masala in a bowl so that we can add the rest of the ingredients, mix it well. To the spice powder, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. A tablespoon of red chilli powder, seven to eight cloves, and ten green cardamoms. And here I have dried plums, about ten of them. This is optional. This actually gives the biryani a fantastic flavor. You can add these as well. Just mix all these ingredients together. And once this is completely cooled down, I'm going to store this in an airtight jar and I'm going to use it as and when required. You can use it to make various different types of biryanis with the choice of the meats that you like. So do try this recipe and let me know.